We're joined in the media center by poll center Tony Stewart. Tony, tell us about your run today. Uh, I was, uh, man, it was. It felt good. <laughs> I mean, it it felt good enough through uh, turn one. I got on the radio uh, after we got on the exit there and told them we were good so far on the start of it, and when we got through the tunnel and. I uh, felt like we made good time through the tunnel, so I just keyed it again and told them we were good through two at least. So I uh, didn't know how it was going to be through turn three, but I um, felt like I might have lost a little bit of time there. But, um, uh, you know, it got through there pretty good too, apparently, better than I thought, I guess. And, uh, you know, got to the line and he told me the time. It was a, it was a good lap. Perfect. We'll start with questions. Am I missing any questions? Cool. We'll see you right tomorrow. here. You don't get allowed. You're not allowed to ask anything. Reed Spencer, uh, the Sporting News. Two, two polls in this year without, you know, not in the last four. What's going on? Yeah, tell me about it. I'm afraid the sky's going to be falling when I go outside. So I'm, I'm a little surprised by it myself. I'm not a qualifier. I admit, I that's always been my weak suit. But uh, man, if you're going to pick a, a place where you want to have good track position, this is it. I mean, this is it's really important here at Pocono, and uh, it. it if I don't go out like I did last year and crash the thing in happy hour, we'll we'll, we'll have a good starting spot. Questions? Oh boy! Wow, you seem so pessimistic here. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> it's you're you asking the question. You're a savvy. You're, you're a savvy guy. You pay attention to all the things going on in the garage. I mean, Jack Roush obviously is not here this weekend at the hospital. It, I mean, as an owner, he's probably one of the more active guys, getting around, checking spark plugs. Do you notice that when a guy like that's just not around on a weekend like this? Yeah, and, and I'll be honest. Um, you know, we were in the owners meeting the other night when we got word of what had happened. So uh, uh, Robbie Reiser was was there on behalf of Roush and and kind of gave us all the update of what was going on. And it when I saw the pictures of it, it, it I saw the picture of the plane first, and that that was pretty disturbing. But uh, to seem even though the picture was bad of him getting out of the plane, uh, the fact that he was walking out of the plane on his own w w was a good sign. But uh, I mean, there, there's no doubt he is the cat in the hat. I mean, he's he he definitely is a man with nine lives. I don't know how many he's got left, but um, he, he's definitely used up a couple of them already. I mean, it's a uh, it, it's a scary thought of that happening. But um, you know, it uh, he he's a guy that you know he he won't back down from at all. I mean, I guarantee you, as soon as he he gets a chance, he'll be flying again. And and that's the great thing about Jack is he's he's. Um, He's a tough competitor, and, and he's not going to let st anything stand in his way, and, and he'll get back after us. So we wish him well. Bob? Bob Hawker, Sing Daily. Um, you were good here in June. I mean, is, does it feel the same? Um, I don't know. I, th I think it's a little different, actually. I think our car, I felt like our car was a little better today, and I think it's a little cooler today, so it probably felt better to everybody. But, uh, you know, the, the qualifying run for sure, you know, I'm, I'm hoping is uh, – a glimmer of hope, of hope of what the rest of the weekend is going to hold for us. Any other questions? Oh, right here. Quit asking. <laughs> Tony Scott was from the Scranton Times. Um, people used to say that Indy and Pocono a lot would translate back and forth between the two. Juan was just here. He said he doesn't see it. Do you see it? Uh, it can. So the two translate back and forth? Or? I think with the old car, it used to a lot more than the new car. Um, you know, the the difference is Indy is, is a lot smoother than Pocono is. I mean, Pocono's just got a lot of age to it. Um, and, and, you know, Indy, you know, they've ground on it and, and done a lot of things. But um, it, it, it seems like with these cars and the, the, the sensitivity of the bump stops in the front and, and splitter heights and all that, that, that it's a little harder to get uh, what you do at Indy to work here at Pocono now. So I think it's separated a lot more now than it used to be. Yeah, Tony, Al Pierce of the Auto Week. Of, of the three corners today during your run, you said you felt good down here and good on the backside. Which of those two maybe surprised you the most? Or well, where, where did you think you really made the time that got you on the pole? I felt like it was in one and two. I mean, I felt like both of them, I thought I made really good corners. Um, I wasn't sure in three. It's, it's Sometimes it's hard to read how you get through turn three because it, it's such a big sweeping corner and such a momentum corner that – uh, it can feel slow and, and be really fast. And then there's times when I thought I was fast through there and didn't carry speed through there. So um, three is kind of misleading. But I, I guess according to Darian, he said we made time in one. Uh, we were only like six hundredths of a second faster in the tunnel. And, and we made time in turn three. He didn't say how much. But, uh, so apparently we made better time through three than I thought during the run. So, uh, but apparently one and three were the corners that we really made time. 
right back here. Yeah, Tony, were you at all surprised that uh, the way you guys qualified and a couple of others uh, ahead of Jimmy Johnson for how good he was in practice and uh, the way things turned out for him? I don't know. I didn't pay attention to him. I mean, one of those guys. I mean, you got to remember, everything doesn't revolve around Jimmy Johnson all the time, bud. I don't know how long you've been covering this stuff, but it's not all about just Jimmy Johnson. So we don't base everything off of Jimmy every day. No. Reed? Uh, does the new strip of pavement still make a difference, or is it pretty much aged into the track? Well, it's aging in. It's definitely getting harder to see because the color-wise, it's blending in a lot more, so you definitely have to look for it. Um, but it still does have it, – it's it's – the difference between that new, that patch and, and the older surface is starting to get closer together, but it's still the, the fast way around right now. Tony, if you could change anything at Pocono, what would you change? I would bar all media from the racetrack. <laughs> yeah, you, wanted, you asked an honest question, I gave you an honest answer. Th that or I would, uh, okay, well, I'll take that back then. I would not borrow the media. I would make them get off their butt and get out of the media center and actually walk the garage and work. Ooh, listen to you now. You guys don't like that idea either. Uh, so. All right, Nobody likes question? getting away from the buffet. <laughs> okay, thanks, Tony, for visiting the media center. <laughs> I knew I'd figure out something I could say to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>